Hello everybody, welcome back to Bison Baits. Um, I'm just recording this part here to, before I show you the footage. Is uh, All the footage you're about to watch is from 2023. Um, the reason for that is like, I know I haven't been posting on here, but the two I had two cameras. I lost the one, and then I found it, got the footage that I had on there, and then lost it again. So I don't know where that one is. The second one is uh the second camera i had i had footage on it and then it stopped working and so i couldn't really re record anything and then it started working again and then i got some footage on there but uh i do got like that's what you're about to watch is the footage that i do have but um another thing too is um there's gonna be uh, a little bit of change on here i'm not gonna swear i'm gonna be, make sure make sure 100 percent that there is no swearing in here because a lot of uh people i know especially my neighbors down the road there they uh uh had noticed some uh swearing in there they tried to watch it with their family and they couldn't because uh um but i get fired up when i catch fish man like I'm, I'm sorry but i i do i get so fired up where i lose like you know all control of you know swearing i'll just swear swear say swearing because that's what it is but yeah so i don't know my idea was probably like get like a swear jar count up the times i did swear throw the money in there and then you know maybe donate it or something at the end of the year but um i won't post those though i'll just you know keep track of how many times i actually did when i'm editing in the video but uh yeah so there's that i won't swear no more there rd trailer <laughs> but uh yeah so yeah so there'll be absolutely no swearing in these videos no more and this one too i gotta put about probably 20 bucks into that swear jar i was talking about but um yeah so um another thing too is i did get into a store on lo local here on the reserve it's uh 1935 cheesewood road it's uh grand passage shout out to them thank you very much for selling my baits um you can find my baits in their store and all kinds of other hunting and fishing needs so go give them uh i was gonna say give them a look but yeah yeah give them a look go go check it out you can find all kinds of stuff there knives bullets guns you know with license of course and then on the other side there's a smoke shop get your ciggies and then uh head head out gas station on the road too get some gas you know yeah but yeah so shout out to grand passage for uh carrying my uh my baits and really appreciate you guys for that and yeah so i hope you enjoy all this footage um i shouldn't say all because it's you know just whatever i had but i will do more and i'll do more this year in the 2024 season so i hope you guys enjoy it thank you and um that's all I have. Thank you. See ya. Well, that's a, what is that? What is that? Uh, grab it. Oh, I got away. Oh, it got away. Oh. I don't know. Scratch my lens all up. Oh well, that was the first. Are, are we recording? Yep, yep, okay. Here you're gonna see me fly fish in there with one boot on because that's what's holding up the camera. This was recorded on a um, on an iPhone because this is the part where I lost my camera, and I hooked into a sunfish on the fly. I'm gonna come show it right on, right on, and then uh, yeah, you can see I just got that little gray sock on there and. Uh, this is uh, when I start messing around with fly fly rod, trying to you know catch some stuff. Um, it's a fun way to fish. Anyway, see ya. I decided to voice over this one too because uh, I don't know. There's just a lot of heavy breathing on this one. Like I either must have been sick or I just ate a bowl of spaghetti or something because there's no way they should be breathing like that while you're fishing. But like I said, I get fired up even over this little guy right here. Cause that's the first fish I ever yeah. caught on. That's a spinner I made right there. And yeah, little largemouth bass. Um, don't know too much to say. 
but yeah, just there was too much, you know, mouth breathing on this one, so I had to, I had to um, voice over this. So I'm just gonna keep rambling on until it's over because, yeah, like, um, like you know, it sounds like my bulldog's there with me almost. Okay, look, oh, there it goes. Up. Uh, Got one on. Yeah. What I was doing here was just casting this little woolly bugger out into the water, letting it sink, and then fish would come up and grab it. But the like a bigger fish was uh, always turning towards it and always uh, like uh, nipping at it, but I wasn't fully committing to it. And then you see in the video here where I'm casting at it, and then. Uh, Right where I set the hook, right here, is when it fully committed and bit and hooked into it. But all in all, that was wild because I've never sight fished bass with a fly rod. And like, I'm not saying it was easy, but it was very effective. I caught like 10 that day. And uh, well, that day, it was yesterday. But I caught 10 on the fly and then a couple on the frog and then a lot of bluegill so yep I think the fly rod is the way to go oh that's one that's one we're on first top water buddy of 2023 heck yeah Nice. Look at that. I'm gonna voice over this one too because after I start messing around with this fish, it was uh, a lot of mouth breathing again. Like the last clip there. I don't know what it was, but I just wanted to come on here and say that. Thanks, bye. That's on the bison beat. That's on the bison beat right there. Look, he's got something big got after him right there. Um. Yeah, that happened pretty quick. This is just on a paddle tail. Why is it bait? This is just a... Uh, the color I'm using is just a splash. Like, I mean, a couple drops of uh, green pumpkin, black flake, and... What is that? Like, purple. So, there's that. And caught this little bass here. Um, yeah, so... There's a little bass. It looked bigger, much bigger in the water, but it's just a nice little pound and a half, maybe. Let's let it go. Great on. Okay. First fish. And oh, I didn't even get a picture of that one. I just had to catch another one. Drain these lily pads. It's kind of Ripped it around in there. Oh, another one. Another one on. On again. That one's a little bigger. This color must be hot. I have to release this color. This is just, uh, honestly, a colored noggin ordered. So. Yeah, so there it is there. It's a nice smallmouth bass. Every picture was hitting, I'll let it go.
Good one. Okay, so I'll let it go. On camera. Oh, feisty. But I mean, it's on. I'm gonna voice over all these, I guess, because a lot of this bank fish in here was like with uh, someone's with uh, live bait and you know, cut bait and throwing just I don't know something around, but there I am checking my line there, and then I realized there was a fish on. I'm gonna bring it in. Oh, look at me, look at that camera, and then. Yeah, bring in the bass there. That was a nice bass. And again, I had to record over this because there was too much swearing in it. Like me and my buddy there that was fishing was swearing. So, and just talking about random stuff. And uh, yeah, it was just a heavy sinker and a piece of carp on that uh, hook there that got the bass. And there I am taking forever to get the hook out because I think uh, it wasn't deep, like right in his stomach, but it was kind of a little ways in there. But uh, yeah, and there I go here to show the camera the fish. Nice fish. Check if it's on again for some reason. And then see I'm rambling on right there, but I think I was saying some curse words, so that's not good. Then I show one more time and I throw back. And there's that lure. Look at that lure I made. It was out of... Oh, just threw the rod down. Oh, set the hook there too. But that lure, as I'm reeling this in, that lure that's floating around there, that's literally just a piece of pine with a bottle cap on it that I rigged up and like, you know, just made something. Oh, this is a good fish here. And there's my, there's my buddy Jesse coming in. And he's he's ready. Look at he's game ready with that net. He wants it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, there we go there. And then uh, I got another another look at the fish here, right by the lip. Because I'm pretty sure Jesse said something about I got it on the back, but that wasn't the case there. I had to show the camera. Right. And then I'm pretty sure that, yeah, all this had swearing in it. So I put a song over it, but then again, I got out there. But I just said I put a song over it, and then I took it out. Well, last thing is uh, I just wanted to come on the last part here and say we got a new logo made up. That's a trout jumping out of some water. Some evergreens around. And it says Bison Baits, established 2021. And this is a flex fit hat. But the camo ones we got are snapback hats. And uh, I don't know why I said snapback hats. Snapbacks. Uh, camo snapbacks. Same logo, obviously. Or it looks the same, I mean. I'm sorry. That's obviously the, the logo. But then we got toques. But for the spring and summer, I'm going to get some new uh, hats made up. Obviously different colors. They don't have to be black or camel. Could be, though, if that's what's requested. But I was thinking something like a forest green or something. But there I go rambling again. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. There's going to be more videos to come in uh, 2024. So stay tuned. Thank you. Bye.